In this lecture, I will talk about a very important topic, which is how do we match shear force and bending moment diagram with loading or shear with bending moment diagram or bending with shear and vice versa. This is really very important skill in identifying the correct diagram to correct loading or correct bending and shear. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at University of East London in here. We talk about structural engineering. This is part of my video series on iStructi certificate in structural behavior. In this lecture, I will be solving these six examples. So grab your pen and let's get started with our first example. The sign conventions which I will use for shear force would be anti-clockwise shear forces are drawn positive, which means that upward forces from right and downward forces from left these are positive this is creating anti-clockwise moment means that forces which are creating anti-clockwise moment they are treated as positive now what it means in reality it means that positives are drawn above baseline this is positive and negative values are drawn under the baseline it means this is negative now this is the sign convention for shear force. What is sign convention for a bending moment diagram? The sign convention for bending moment diagram is that it is drawn on tension side. And what is tension side? The tension side is below the baseline which is treated as positive and this is compression side. What it means in terms of moments is that clockwise moments are treated, this is clockwise from left side clockwise moments these are treated as positive or sagging moment and anti-clockwise moment from right side these are treated as positive and this will generate sagging uh, as well imagine if you have a ruler hold it in hand and try to apply these moments and see what happens it will certainly lead to sagging this means that here we have positive moments and above baseline we have negative or hogging so this is the hogging region we call it as hogging and the region that you see over here it is termed as sagging the first problem which i will solve is about matching a bending moment diagram to correct loading on the beam ignoring self-weight anti-clockwise shear forces are drawn on positive side and bending moments should be drawn on tension side this is the sign convention which i mentioned a bit earlier here first we have to determine the direction of reactions and that will lead us to some diagram over here as we have negative or hogging moments over here so reaction should be upwards here and as we have a downward moment here it is sagging so the reaction that will cause sagging should be downwards and here we have this dip dip means that a point load is being applied here and this reaction is upwards as well let us see what we have in our options in our options we have point load and point load at this location in option b and c this is incorrect because point load will always bring the diagram down here the diagram is not coming down it means these two options are discarded and i will eliminate these two options now there are two options which are possible option d and option a let us draw the deflected shape the moment which is applied over here is anti-clockwise in this option from left side anti-clockwise moment will generate hogging so hogging moment is drawn on the negative side so this will generate a moment like this and here clockwise moment is applied in option a so clockwise moment if you think it will generate a sagging moment so sagging moment is drawn like this the sagging moments are drawn positive here it's drawn negative if i go back here observe that we have sagging over here so we need sagging this means that option a is the correct option because i have these reactions downward so downward reaction will cause this bit 
and again this will come down because of the loading and because of upward reaction this will go up slightly and then it stays the same because we have this end moment applied so this is how we draw bending moment diagram and here we have plus so option a is the correct option correct answer is option a let me now move to the second question here we have to match here force diagram to correct bending moment diagram so this is sfd earlier it was bmd during self-weight as usual anti-clockwise forces are drawn positive and bending moment should be drawn on the tension side rules of sfd are that this is positive and this is negative an inclined line shows that we have some kind of uniformly distributed load over here and downward force it represents that we have a point load over here as loads are downwards it means reactions should be upwards when reactions are upwards this means that we should have hogging moments for downward reactions we will always have sagging moments sagging is drawn like this and hogging so this is hogging moment this is sagging moment let us see this is not possible option b because we are expecting hogging moment over here this is wrong this is not possible as well because we are expecting hogging moment due to upward reaction so we cross this out out of these two c and d we are expecting a curved line as well because it's uniformly distributed load this is option d is fine it is uniformly distributed load up to this point and here we have a downward reaction and that is causing moment over here for point forces or concentrated forces it is always going to be a straight line and you can see here you have a straight line here we don't have a straight line it looks like this curve is blended over here and after that we have a curved portion so curved portion is not possible it means this is wrong the straight portion is possible it means that option d is the correct answer that was really very close because it looks that option c and option d they are pretty much equal but using the logic that concentrated point loads they will always create straight line moments and distributed loads they will create a curved bending moment so correct option is option d then i move to this question match the bending moment diagram here we have to match bmd with shear force diagram sfd ignoring self-weight anti-clockwise shear forces as usual are drawn on positive side and bending moment is drawn on the tension side looking at this one it looks to me that this is a bending moment diagram where a point moment is applied and this can be possible when clockwise moment is being applied what clockwise moment will do it will create a deflected shape like this it means that the force here will be a downward force and force here will be upward force here we will produce a hogging moment and here a sagging moment is produced and this will create a constant shear force diagram let us see which option is correct the only constant shear force diagram is option a it means option a is correct b c and d these are wrong and the reason is that we have just forces up to this point there is no force in this portion it means this is wrong and this is wrong option b is related to when we have a point load applied as there is no point load applied the only option is option a where if you try to draw the diagram because of this you are going up and nothing is happening until the end and because of this reaction you are going down and 
the sign convention is this one so positive forces are upwards if you are starting from right side so this is a positive diagram this means that option a is the correct one all other options are wrong so the correct answer is option a let me now move to next question here we have to match shear force diagram with correct loading on the beam ignoring self-weight and anti-clockwise shear forces are drawn on positive side and bending should be drawn on tension side this one looks to me that only downward force is being applied over here but this side does not have any reaction this is only possible when the effect of this point load is cancelled by another point moment and let us see which options do we have upward forces it may not be possible because you see here that the diagram is going down so option a is incorrect and option d is incorrect as well and from option c and b let us see which option is correct this moment is going to push the beam up it means that reaction here will be upwards and reaction here will be downwards and due to downward load we have diagram like this so these two portions will be added so a clockwise moment will generate a shear force diagram where these two portions this and this they will get cancelled and you will have only forces in this direction so if you wanted to draw the diagram and the reactions due to point load will be upwards so this and this reaction will get cancelled we have to start from the right and then we have to come down and this is positive side so our diagram is not like this it means that option b is wrong let us see what happens with option c the downward force the only option is option c so this must be correct we draw a downward deflection due to point load and now anti-clockwise moment is creating deflection like this so due to moment we have hogging region and we have this sagging region because of sagging region we have upward reaction because of hogging region we have a downward reaction due to this behavior due to point load we will have upward reactions both sides when we have upward reactions on both sides these two are acting opposite each other it means they will cancel out it means that the diagram will go down so if i wanted to draw the diagram because of this point load the diagram will go down again nothing is happening between point load and at the end and because of these two forces it will go up and this is drawn on the negative side of sft and if you see over here this is our diagram so correct option is option c or if you wanted you can draw the, the shear force diagram for both point load and point moment and then combine them to see which one is cancelling it out but here by drawing the deflected shape i'm able to see that which deflected shape is cancelling each other out in this case in part c you saw that we have sagging and we have hogging so this portion is counteracting each other the correct option is option c match the bending moment diagram to correct shear force diagram this bending moment diagram is normally for a load where we have a point load and we have upward reactions so the way we draw the diagram upward reaction will create upward shear force and it just remains straight and then it goes down due to this point load and it comes up over here we don't have any loading between point load and then it go, goes up due to this reaction we have positive here and we have negative over here so this should be our correct shear force diagram this is bmd and this is sft let's see what options do we have this is incorrect this is the diagram for uniformly distributed load when we have udl this is not any shear force diagram it looks like 
bending moment diagram when we apply UDL. So this is incorrect as well. So the correct option is we have plus here, we have negative over here, option C. As you saw earlier that I drew this diagram like this. So correct option is option C. Then I will move to next question. Here, match the bending moment diagram to correct shear force diagram. Ignore self weight, anti-clockwise shear forces are drawn positive and bending moments should be drawn on tension side. This diagram looks to me that this is a cantilever beam and we are applying a point load over here and this is causing hogging moment in this beam. It means that shear force diagram should come down and it should go here here due to reaction it will go up let us see what options do we have option b is not possible because it looks like we have a point moment applied at the end option c is not possible as well because we have a reaction over here and here there's no reaction and moreover the inclined line indicates that it is a uniformly distributed load it is not actually so this option is wrong option a is incorrect as well because it looks like we have a point load over here and it is dropping the diagram down in negative direction and again we have another point load so we don't have another point load over here when there is a sudden change in the diagram it indicates that there is a point load or concentrated load applied here this is not the case it means it is wrong the only option left is option d on the negative side which is the correct one so the correct option is option d that's it for today's uh, lecture thanks for watching this lecture today and i will see you in my next lecture